In this Microsoft Word video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add drop caps into your Word documents. Drop caps are a beautiful, exciting way you can add a little bit of flair to a document. Those of you that are authors or writers will be particularly interested in this tip. So what is a drop cap? For the most part, drop caps are used as the first letter of the first word of a book or a chapter or a major part of a document. And most people, I think, have probably seen examples of drop caps in books that they've read or historical documents, etc. They're often kind of fancy, but they're a fun way to start off a document or a section or a book, whatever it might be. Now, you might think that it would be as simple as selecting the first letter in a document or in a chapter, etc., and then changing its font size. I can blow this up to 48, but notice what happened. It doesn't look as nice as those examples that I showed earlier. It pushes the rest of the document down in order to make room for this giant letter. So that's not an acceptable way to add a drop cap into your document. I'm going to hold Control and tap Z to undo that. And instead, let's do it the right way. So with that letter selected, I'm just going to go to the Insert tab. We just go over here to the Text group, and here it is, Add a Drop Cap. I'll click on the arrow next to it. You can just leave it at the default of None, and nothing will happen. Instead, I'm going to go down and click Dropped, and there we have the first letter of Video as a Drop Cap. Notice that it doesn't push any of the text down, really, but it does provide space for the V within the paragraph. It pushes the text to the right, and in doing so, some of it may get pushed to the next line, etc. But now I have room for the V, and I think that looks pretty good. Now I can select it again, and go back, and click on the arrow, and then go down and try in margin. So that's another look that you can use. Honestly, I think I prefer the first option, so I'm just going to click there and go back to Dropped. Now let's try it again, but this time with the second paragraph. Now this time, I'm not going to bother to select the first letter. I've just clicked anywhere in the second paragraph. I'll go here, Insert, Text, there it is, Drop Cap, and I'll switch to Dropped. Notice that it still works, even though I didn't click and select the first letter. Office knows that a drop cap is the first letter in a paragraph or a document, etc., and so it just figured it out. Now I'm going to go back there one more time and choose Drop Cap Options. This is another way that I can switch to None. I could switch to In Margin. If I click OK, the paragraph where my cursor was changes to an In Margin style. I'm going to go back. If I want to, I can also make some adjustments to the body. I'm going to go back to Dropped, but look at what else you can do. It says Lines to Drop. This is basically where you can decide how big you want that drop cap to be. So if I want it to be bigger, let's say 10, I click OK. Now it's huge. Way too big, really. But I could say 6, for example. And then also, what's the distance from the text? Right now, there's basically no distance between the drop cap and the regular text. If I want a little bit of space there, I can increase that, and now it's spaced out more. Now some of you may be looking at this and saying, well that doesn't look very fancy. So look what I can do. I can just select that font, and then I can go to my Home tab, and this is where the font style makes a difference. I could go in and just choose a different font. So how about Balthazar? So I click that, and that looks a lot more fancy. Italianate. That's another one that's a little fancier. Or I could try Papyrus, or this one here, <laughs> which I don't even know if I can read. Parchment. Let's try Papyrus. All right, so you can play around with those to find the right one for you, but that's how you can quickly and easily add a fancy drop cap effect to your Word documents. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find more information about those options in the description below this video. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel.